A tree grows, not because it wants to, but because it was created to. It's a story about potential, right? And about a decade ago, right when I started writing, speaking, uh, creating content online, I came across that message and it was transformative for me, right? The idea that human beings are the only life form that will do less than they possibly can. The full quote by, no surprise, Jim Rohn, he says, every life form seems to strive to its maximum, except human beings. How tall will a tree grow? As tall as it possibly can. Human beings, on the other hand, have been given the dignity of choice. You can choose to be all or you can choose to be less. So why not stretch up to the full measure of the challenge and see what you can do? Beautifully said, right? Imagine every night of your life going to bed, knowing that there was more inside of you. Imagine running a race, knowing there were other levels that you could have reached for, but didn't. Imagine looking back on a life of infinite possibility and knowing you created finite parameters. Now, I'm not saying you have to live every waking moment obsessed with always being better than you currently are, right? I'm merely asking you a question. Aren't you curious? Don't you want to know what that ceiling is, that space for which excellence has been reserved? I often think every time I hop on a rowing machine at the gym that, you know, it highlights the gap in black and white between what I'm doing and what I'm capable of. Love-hate relationship with that machine. It brings me back to my college days, the days I first learned to truly push myself. I get on it now for one minute sprints as part of a sort of a workout program I'm doing. And I just think there's no evading that concrete number the screen gives me exactly how many meters I went in 60 seconds. Right there, right in front of me. And then I ask, imagine if the stakes were higher. Imagine if this wasn't just a workout. Imagine if someone said, on sprint number four, Eddie, if this is not your fastest sprint of the day, you lose X. Or Y is going to happen to you. And whatever those variables may be. Eddie, if this isn't your fastest sprint, insert worst fear. What's going to happen? I'm going to break that record. I just am. My body is going to find a way. And that's what's interesting. That's the point. Okay. What this metaphor is not an indicator that you need to go around scaring yourself into personal best. But what it is is a reminder that there's always more right there, right in front of you, if you want it. It's a pointing out that we all live somewhere under what our best could be. And knowing that is such a powerful tool. It's powerful because there's no screen showing you the meters you traveled when it comes to where you are with your work or your health or your relationships. There are indicators, sure but so much goes unmeasured. How much did you do today? Did you feel good about your output? How good? Because there's always another level. And maybe the solution is more. Maybe the solution is an audit of time spent. Maybe it's adjusting your compass altogether, but there exists a best in you that is untapped, always. And the question remains, aren't you curious? Aren't you curious what that next level looks like? That should make you feel good. Because your current circumstance is as permanent as today's weather. What you don't like can be changed. What isn't aligned can be adjusted. If it's not good enough, you can make it so. One of my favorite ideas, life is a game of adjustment. The question's how far are you willing to push, to grow? Keyword, willing. Some people decide to stop at point A. 
others stop at point B, others point C. And that's for them to decide. That's a decision, a personal decision they've made. But the million dollar piece of knowledge is that in all cases, that landing spot was a decision. It was not fate. It was not handed out by a stranger on the street. You choose how hard to pull and you decide which levers are worth pulling. See, we are the only living beings capable of underperforming. And that's amazing. Take that, run with that, because it also means we are the only living creatures capable of rationally looking around, assessing the situation and saying, I don't like this reality. I'm going to rebuild my own. The world is yours. You just have to decide which world you are willing to accept. Which world are you willing to fight for? Which world are you going to call your own?